Something a bit more standard here, folks. The Aphelios, the Rakan. So we get some uh, supplementary engage and some primary here for RA. Nymera, run me through because we've got a bit of range, but we also have a lot of gap close on RA now built yes. up. So the thing which I love about Aphelios in aggressive compositions is that he has follow-up in a way that very few AD carries do. You throw in the midline. not contesting. He said he's trying to go towards mid lane. Look at where Kryon is. This might be a flash burnt, but it's matched by Lo Yan, a Bramble Smash. And a charm in response, but Strive won't care. That puts him in range. And Kryon is dead as anything. The flash comes from Strive next. And it's first blood. But now for Lo Yan, he has to Bramble Smash his way out of there as Tianjin. Oh, rare at him. It felt like maybe Tianjin could have... Uh... Got to, I mean, wise can't be okay there, buddy. What, 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 what? Oh, Tian Zhen with the flash, not giving anything to chance. That's the Fiora matchup you talked about being so... Is about even, 400 to RA is something you can account for, but IG are the ones who've just picked up the dragon, so... Likely be going down towards Rare Atom, especially since those resets came in through IG and they don't have any vision control. They're still walking into River, though. Tian Zhen's gonna be late, though. It's still Dragon, it's Wink almost getting dredge lined in, it's crying. Oh. Oh my god, they do indeed. That is rough here for RA. Speaking of which, we got Ulti Faulty in the top side. Wise Cam. Gonna get that grand challenge, but Xiao Xu in the elongated fight. Always gonna win. He flushes and dunks him. That divine Sunder of Proc was my. Walk a moment from Rare Atom. You don't have the Ari ult right now, but do you have Vi? What can we do with that? Ooh, they're gonna use it onto Lu Yen. Still comes through as Winks now flying in. RA a bit of a whoopsie as he flashes over the wall. Cry and matches and now finds himself a kill, but Xiaoshu's back on in. His Counter-Strike not finding the mark, but he still does so much damage. Dredge line against the wall, Bowland trying it out as a zoom. Gets the end gen with a depth charge as well. Here comes Reset City, and a zoom is flying through the skies. A triple kill to get excited about, and RA turning off the back foot to make a successful play. IG, they just overcommit towards topside. If they could have made it out of to protect, protect that as best you can. So Rare Atom, they're not going to walk into the jaws of the Dragon Pit. Stops the recalls with that Jinx ult. That potentially yep. gives Rare Atom a few more seconds to play around this Herald push and around this enemy jungle. His Wink caught out. He is a Rakan. Should be fine. But as you were saying, mid is now just opened up that much more. Teleport on topside while Xiaoshu is taken down the turret by himself. It's YS Cam coming in, but... Will he regret this one? Xiaoshu not fully committing, Try jungle. The win conditions from IG are getting quite difficult now. Looking at the itemization as well, it's something I talk about uh, with, with Ari a lot because I, I play too much of this champion and I talk about the builds a little bit too much. I think at this point, if you're reaching a target, it's going to be hard to do damage. You don't have a Leandro, oh, no. the only damage getting caught out already. Yeah, flashed out, the pokes there as well. Dreadline in, Jinx Rocket, the AoE not needed. He's tried to pick up the killers. Balan has to flash away before he's dead meat as well. But Lo Yan, his angle so dangerous. The cleanse away from Arn though. The turnaround is great. Arn picks up the kill. His first of the game. And maybe too big for their boots. Oh, but this is just dying so quickly in the marker. I was going to fend them off. It really is. Trying to get around it is IG. The smite might not connect, but it doesn't matter. And goodbye, Tien Jen. To his death. As it looks like IG might have a wish for it. Arn is still alive though, but Strive is in the backside. They may have found a soon, but for IG, this game is so hard with Xiaoshu in the mix. A flash on top of crying. Strive doesn't need to help out. Xiaoshu's got this taken away as Leyen dies at the end. The YSK. It's going to be 2 1 and 3, but it feels like he's so much worse. As RA off the back of it, a Baron. They've now got the second dragon of their own. It just feels like RA have been the ones who have been in control for at least 90 starting roster of Rare Atom. And in this game, the solo laners are where a lot of these advantages are being found for Rare Atom. It's been great on the engaged champions. Bao Lan, not too bad himself, as he's the engaged. Here so speaking of which, on the stride. But Tian Zhen using everything on the solo laner means Assume gets the reset and free fire in the back line. His double comes through as Arn and Cry now the next. But it won't be long before it respawns as IG have to leave this one for dead. Inhibitor turret and inhibitor dropping just like that. As RA just seems like they can't do anything wrong here in this first game. It's another attempt about 15 minutes too late from Kryon and Tianjin. It felt like maybe that combo could have worked out when they yep. got the charge coming in. And then Strive pouring in Shock Blast from off screen. Might be the last hurrah here. RA ulting in. It's Lu Yen. Helps them get closer towards the turret as Bao Lan not getting the dredge line. And Tianjin jumps in, but is it going to be to his death? The Swing is just dredge lined as well. Excuse me, death charge. RA surviving as their pokes flying through. Lian about to engage, but doesn't need to. As Xiao Xu avoids that grand challenge. YSKM, the strongest member outside of Arn, but Arn is dead and gone. 
IG left with support, left with top, left with nothing in this game one. And in 28 minutes, RA have shown us how dominant they can be. IG were a flame in the wind, but much like it, were blown out after 28 minutes of RA domination. Really feels like Rare Atom understood their team composition just so much more than Invicto in terms of enchanters in that bot side. Well, yeah, standard stuff from what we know in previous matters. On the other side, IG just doing something a little bit different, hey. There's the cannon locked in, and look, I know it's going to be a bruiser Rengar coming through again in this game number two, because let's be real about how the comp plays out. Nymira, um, it looks fun. I, from... I don't know how much uh, they can follow even on this. But he's on a ward. The problem is enemy jungle's on a ward. Lu Yen is spotted out, so Tianjin makes a play. It's double flash and a kill. Arn getting first blood. Actually, big head. GP big... bot side. With the Unleashed Teleports now 10 minutes, Nymera, but I guess I won't get a chance because IG were laying in wait. This top side, Wise Cam has vision on Shashu, will have what vision on Leon very shortly. And the three man dive, there's a flash matchup as well. Ulti under turret, slicing Maelstrom. Oh, this is why you don't dive cannon. The Shashu's lucky to be alive as well. 1v2. Thought no. he could get his ultimate off before Wise Cam could flash under turret, so they didn't have to be eating turret shots during that dive. But the ultimate comes out, the flash comes out, the CC. As the game is so calm and I'm saying that with Tianjin jumping in. Hang on a minute. As he runs in, Arn and Wink thinking about other side. But there's Gravitum. Flash as well. Strive gets the Everfrost. Uh, wow. Just as I highlight Tianjin, he also runs it. Strive's over the wall. He's got a reset. He baits in the Arnold. But that's still fine. It's assumed now to get out of there. And we do this once again, don't we? Balan running for his life as you give... Again, the engage is not very heavy from Aichi. It's very hard to play around that. Got to fight oh. on both side. Is Tianjin Den again? Everfrost, excuse me, Charm doesn't connect, but Strife still finds him. This is what happened to his other Rengar game. See why scam pull ahead of this game, take over a side lane, because it makes fighting over that river and the vision over some extra ways to push into large areas of the map, which then allows someone like the Tristana or the Cannon to push in, and that means that potentially but still a bit of an awkward moment. Now Tianjin uh, is caught out. He doesn't have flash. He's on vision. He's on a ward. He's on a ward, and you're right. Can he do anything here with crying? Jumping into the mix, but double knock up. Wild growth from Balan. Beautiful. It's a knockback, though, so it will be a trade of crying. Trying to carry the fight. He's jumping all over the place. On to Lu Yen next. He won't get his target. 6k, 5k, 4k, 3k. Charm on the Rengar. RA, the outplay. Smite down Tian Gen to his death. He has to flash away. Get into River. They are at least going to pick up this dragon to stop Soul Point being claimed from Rare Atom. But with the resets coming through, second items. <laughs> Well, IG tried to make the big play to stop the power play coming through. Strive didn't have the ult at the start of that play. Has it now, but have to burn the flash either way. But they don't manage to stop RA from going in towards these lanes, and now they don't have ults to fight oh. now. Well, Lo Yen, this for a red buff. Strive gets over the wall. And Frost there, but Tristana all big. Lo Yen just knows he's got to die. Shao Shu, uh, yeah, okay. Well, an enemy red. This is so dangerous. Cry and jump forward. Arn as well, even without his ulti. He can do this as the Gleaming Quill slows everything down. Arn almost getting a kill. Jumps over. Flashes in the end. Messy gameplay. I'm about to eat dinner after this. And I tell you what, I'm not going to make half the mess that this has been so far. As one back here is good as Tianjin almost dying to foul out. Assume who ulties in. But at the end, it'll be both bot lane duo dropping down. RA losing Baron. Left they only. need to put some pressure on this map while Wisecam's dealing the top side. At least RA will open up one. Assume still confident to go for two as they're looking for the rotate from Wisecam. They might actually find it on a ward. He's caught out. He'll be ulti, but no, it was Sonya's. He can't do it again, but Loyan still helps him find the kill. However, in a 5 versus 4, can RA still win? Tian Gen. Why are you by yourself? He gets out eventually, but RA are losing health bars to Arn, who goes golden. Tianjin heals up for the whole team. Crying and Arn are cleaning it up. You know the story. You know the drill. Xiao Chu's trying, but Arn's out of there. Crying busts him away as Assume needs to carry pants here. He runs up, but Tianjin in his face. The Rengar doing absolutely nothing. But Xiao Chu, maybe what? it's his turn to die. No! no way! This is why you don't give the man jacks. As a zoom, he zippers! He zippers! <laughs> and trying to de deny both those AD carries, the Counter Strike able to deny both their auto attacks. The Gold Ringer gets decent value in terms of keeping Tianjin alive and getting some threat down, but it's just not able to shut uh, out. Rasputin right now, RA, <laughs> supporting. 
what I think is an actual banger. We've got 23 kills. Ah, Ray getting collapsed. Wise Cam, Wise Cam, Wise Cam. The flash is ignored instead. The rest of the fight's being lost out by this annoying bot lane duo, but Tian Jen is running it again. Assume gets a kill as Arn goes over the wall, but Xiao Xu, the biggest Jax you've ever seen, jumps on in again. Xiao Xu shouldn't be giving Jax as Assume is dealing with the boys. Zeri Yumi is not winning, and the crowd is going wild. The whole breaker Jax does to activate on Xiao Xu. The Spear of Shoujin gives you so many leap strikes. You cannot run from this. You assume. Making, uh, putting the um in IG's game too. <laughs> yeah, what option do you do though? Because look, Baron going down, the Jack staying there so fast. I mean, Tianjin nowhere nearby. Assume takes it as thrill of the hunt, but there's no thrill here. You've been hunted yourself. Assume with another. Tianjin needs to go back to the drawing board because he- Runs that with your empowered W. Now, what do you have oh, left dear. in the tank? There's a flash on the cannon. That's about it. Good charm, cleanse away. I'm uh, not having that now though, as remember there's no bell on this Yumi. Ra are running through mid. IG might just lose out to the range from Assume, who is out class. He might miss the ulti, but his auto's doing so much work. Astride Flash flashes on in. Han's uh, gonna drop on down as Wise Cam gets his first big ulti. It takes two, but you know what? Two is not enough for Xiao Shu. This Jax needs to be banned. Assume needs to be dealt with. And RA outclass IG in a magnificent performance in a 2-0. They might have nine lives, but two cats met their demise in game two. Rengar, Yumi couldn't get it done, and the Zeri Yumi finds a rare loss in the LPL. This duo, it has terrorized the pro meta for about as long as it has existed. But...